separated. <laughs> Rodman is split aside by Bushler. On the boards, especially when Dennis Rodman is trying to get position, trying to root Morning out of that position, and then the takedown, and then the feet get involved as they start to pushing with feet. And then Judd Bushler <laughs> short. And Rodman and Morning, and you think the officials aren't conscious of the potential <laughs> for some damage. They all three of them were in there at this the other night, didn't they? <laughs> Morning and Rodman. Yeah. Jordan for the tie and Morning fouled by Dennis Rodman. And Alonzo taking objection to the way Rodman pushed off. Dennis gave him a little pop. Second foul on Dennis, and they will troop down the other end. So. Well, Pat Riley objects to the fact that Dennis Rodman gave Morning a little shot and was not penalized for it. And with uh, some players out on the floor who are going to bang away at each other as Alonzo Morning foul from behind. Look out, Rodman. Rodman and Morning having words. Rodman said something to Morning after the foul was called on on Harper and things could get out of hand now which is his second automatic rejection so Dennis ends up playing only 14 minutes two of four from the line just five rebounds two assists and receives a standing ovation as he heads back to the locker room and here's the toss of the jersey looking for a fan Concentrating on the job at hand, they're more concerned with uh, who's getting the one-upsmanship as far as the physical play is concerned. Seen a little tonight. Rodman. And that was a foul. That was a, he attempted to foul him on purpose to make him shoot free throws. That's what Dennis Rodman was doing. This game is not over, except for you got Michael Jordan on the free throw line. That's who the Bulls would love on the free throw line. If you're Miami, the guy you really want to foul is Scottie Pippen, who is not a good free throw shooter. Players do. They can struggle and still contribute. And you know, I think he's done it in a lot of ways. He has eight rebounds already, has 20 points, so the numbers are good. And Dennis Rodman is turned around right now, yelling at Alonzo. Series is hitting. We cannot turn the ball over. There's Rodman. And there's going to be the technical. He, he shoved Morning in the back after the foul. And that's the first burn. Entry pass to Alonzo Morning, and Rodman takes him down hard. Let me tell you what Alonzo was doing right there. He tried to lay on the floor. Act to hurt a little bit in the hopes that they would call a flake. Well, the Rodman morning battle continues during free throws, Doc. Well, it's mind games now. It's 32 seconds left. Dennis know that the game is over. So now he's having fun. He's trying to get in the lines of mind. And you can see it right there. What did I do? Well, you just grabbed my arms, you pulled my shorts up, and I'm getting sick of you. That's what Alonzo was saying. And Dennis is saying, I'm going to keep doing it because I want to get into his head. Okay. And then you realize there are 32 seconds remaining in the game. But the winner will take it. Yes. The winner will take it no matter what the score is. Miami Heat have called timeout. 71-64. It's a seven-action dribble. Got the step. And he's headed to the line. Well, there's a tendency to forget about Dennis Rodman as an offensive threat because he rarely looks at the basket that time. No doubt about it. He just wanted to catch the ball, make a move to the basket as a couple of big guys who have gone against, <laughs> against Dennis. I said, where did that come from? <laughs> In every phase of the game, they picked it up. Jordan with the strip of Morning, who was able to recover, and then lost it again. Collides with Rodman, and Morning is being held back. He felt that uh, Rodman tried to take him down. Uh, you know, that was just traffic there, although I, I, I'd have to see the play again on the replay, but an overreaction, I think, on the part of Alonzo Morning. And 
stripped by Michael Jordan once. Michael Jordan is going to get it again and knock it loose. And, and uh, Dennis Rodman did bend over as Morning was up in the air. And you can see why now that Alonzo Morning had something to complain about. But in all the banging and hitting inside, that was not one of the worst by Dennis Rodman. And uh, no fouls were called, only two on the shot clock. And it is a 24-second uh, violation. It has, it has reached the point where we're making judgments on the degree of the hit where Rodman is involved. Dennis did held, hold his ground there, but by in bending over while Alonzo Mourning was up in the air. We had a play similar like that in game two where there was a hard fall to the floor. And of course, Miami is so aware of Dennis Rodman, even though they say they are not. Mourning will go in longer. And two things just happened. Dennis Rodman just doing an illegal elbow or something at Alonzo, and Dennis Rodman also hurt his knee on that last play. Morning is down. You saw him call time. I want you to look at the bottom of the screen at the end of this play and watch Dennis Rodman after the whistle. Lowered his shoulder into Alonzo's ribs. Then just take a look at this. May have been more shoulder than elbow, but the result, the same. Morning, down in pain. Rodman, number 91. And you have to make up your mind if this is a dirty play or not. When you look at it on the replay, it does not look like that. Personally, Vern, I'm watching the game live, and I thought Dennis Rodman walked into him. He did it good, and that's why he walked away. Is that dirty? I don't know. He was just trying to be physical and put a body on Alonzo, but I tell you what, that hurts. The wind knocked out of him. He talked to the training staff and said he was all right, just hurt a little bit. But he had the wind knocked out of him. He has a very sore right side. He is back on the floor. Yeah, and that's a good sign. Now you have to watch. If he's having a tough time breathing, then you know if he's real. But I think he'll be fine. Earlier, we showed the collision between Dennis Rodman and Alonzo Mourning two days ago. Zoe is still in severe pain. So much so that Ron Culp, the trainer, sent for eight different types of vests and protection to wear in his chest. He even talked to the Miami Dolphins about a flak jacket. The one he selected, we tried to show you, but it's under tight security. But it's like a belt that goes across his chest, held in by Velcro, heavily padded. It allows him to breathe, does not restrict his movement, but still it could be bothersome for Zoe tonight. Back to Vernon. Okay, Craig, thank you. You buying that? I don't know about the vest. I think they have kryptonite in it to try to stop Superman Jordan from doing anything tonight. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> the officiating crew tonight. Now, what Dennis is doing, he knows he can foul and make Alonzo make free throws. It was a hard foul, didn't do anything, really held his arms up so it wouldn't be a three-point play, and didn't let him go. I liked it. All the rest did was call a foul. No overreactions by anybody. Morning gets the free throw. Rodman picks up just a foul. Later tonight, Cheryl Miller joins Vince Cellini back in our Atlanta studios on Inside the Indy. Have highlights from our game. Dennis Rodman still not in top shape, coming back from a knee injury, but he still manages to get into the mix on almost every play and always trying to get into the heads of his opponent. You heard Alonzo Mourning in our opening saying he guarantees a win. Now that caused a reaction among the Bulls. Michael Jordan said that he would have been better off saying he would guarantee that they play better and play harder and let the outcome work itself out on the court. Now, Dennis Rodman said he didn't care. He figured that if you win Monday, we'll just win Wednesday. Now, in all my years of sports, that is the strangest, most different answer I've ever heard from an athlete. But I must say that Dennis is one of the most strangest and different kind of athletes that I've met. Now, who are we to believe? Dennis Rodman or Alonzo Mourning? One of the great things about sports, we get a chance to sit back, relax, and for the next two and a half hours, let everything work itself out on the court. Marv? Pippen. Off the roof. Oh, he is pounded. Foul by Mourning. That's two. Uh, Alonzo Rodman coming over to uh, check out Pippen, who was un in pain. Whoa. Mike, uh, Scotty Pippen with Whoa. the knot on the head on the hard foul by Alonzo Mourning. And the Bulls were asking, why not a flagrant foul? And as Rodman continuing the uh, discussion. Scotty Pippen on the front line. Hopper in the, the backcourt. Nice move by Pippen. And the crowd looking for a technical foul for the hang on the rim. 
connecting three with a great deal of effect as Dennis Rodman coming in and hanging on the rim ever so slightly, jumping on the back of Alonzo Mourning and catching him on the back of the head. Keep an eye on the benches. Nobody coming off either bench. And we'll have to see how the officials call this. Obviously, it'd be at least a double uh, tactical. Pat Riley did uh, get into it. Well, this, this was brewing, obviously. The only question, will there be ejections? Well, Morning and Rodman on just about every trip down the floor making all kinds of contact, arms flailing, legs moving, battling for position, but a good job by both coaching staffs to keep the respective benches in tow and behind that line. Nobody wanting any suspensions at this point. Morning and Rodman continue to have words and are uh, kept part by their teammates. The officials now discussing it. So much for Dennis Rodman not picking up at least one technical foul here. Well, and of course he continues to taunt and, and look at Alonzo Mourning trying to get him to react. Dennis might be thinking, I may be going here. I want to make sure I take Alonzo with me. And rush over to uh, interpret the call to the Bulls. Dennis Rodman being kept away by Michael Jordan. Well, apparently, a technical on each player, double technical. And a jump ball, no ejection. Once again, a morning getting pushed by Dennis Rodman and then coming in with that elbow first. And Alonzo has been throwing the elbows around. I think he caught Rodman with that right elbow on the side of the head. He's already gotten Pippen twice. And Rodman realized exactly what was going on, tried to tie up, and did, and the takedown on morning. And you can see, in the midst of all the by play, uh, Dennis Rodman continued the, uh, the taunting and was trying to get Alonzo Mourning involved in and striking back in some fashion to pick up a second technical, which would have meant e ejection. Effort fell short. Miami backed up their bowl guarantee, sending Jordan and the Bulls back to Chicago. And now, Michael says it's personal. Now, one piece of news from the NBA today. The league has fined Alonzo Mourning and Dennis Rodman $5,000 each for their part in this altercation in Monday's game. Each player was assessed a technical foul, which extended Rodman's dubious streak of at least one technical foul in all 12 postseason games this year. Right, Dennis Rodman did a very good job of knocking this ball loose to Luke Longley for that dunk, and then talking and the clapping afterwards is what earned him the taunting technical. And that's 17 technicals in 13 playoff games. Cheer for from the Chicago point of view. The offense has struggled, and Rodman and Morty get involved once again, and then Dennis Rodman saving the moment by patting Alonzo Morning, who did not appreciate the gesture. Well, Dennis tries and tries, tries to control, but just doesn't seem to be able to control himself at times. As it looked like he was going to try one of those, just tie the man up, fighting for the loose ball, to grab the hold, to push. Should have been a encouragement uh, from Dennis Rodman. Tim Hardaway on that foul is third. He was not looking for the uh, for the pat from Dennis because he knows it's not sincere. Right. And Jordan to the uh, free throw line. And Dennis Rodman with nine points, 12 rebounds, four assists, and a wise move by Phil Jackson to uh, sit him down. Does not want any additional trouble. Dennis uh, had his uh, customary technical foul call earlier. So Alonzo Morning apparently feels it is all over. He has departed. Michael. 
And a third consecutive miss for Jordan Klein. Rejected by Prom Comfitude. But that play was by Dennis Rodman. Joe Klein got the rebound because Dennis Rodman cleared out the entire team on Miami under the basket. And you can see him with more antics. <laughs> antics is a great word to use. And then Klein shows Rodman a second eight. Shape up. Down the stretch, he may be disinterested now. He may be skipping practices now, but... It's like Miami has a chance. They missed two threes to cut it to seven. Here, another layup. Robin blocks the shot every time Chicago has answered so far. Scotty hits right there. Robin, further conversation with Steve Jabby, and Morning is right there, too. And here's exactly what Riley was talking about, and there's Robin trying to get right at Morning. And there's some of the control that Morning is now exhibiting that Riley is so pleased with. But you know deep down, a lot of Morning is thinking, <laughs> if I was only in an alley along with Dennis Rodman. I just need two punches. Just, just two. <laughs> oh, one minute. <laughs> wanted him back. He does the little things for this team. This third quarter has been as zigzag uh, routing as you're going to find. Where uh, the Bulls have been on top by 18, then 15, and then, then it was 7, and now it's 8, and then it was 12, now it's back up to 13 again. I mean, they've just been all over the place. It's Rodman will leave until Jackson is getting him out for a reason. Yeah. When he walked by the bench, you can see Tex Winters saying, Hold it up, Dennis. Calm down a little bit. They want him in the fourth quarter. He forgets sometimes that he already has a technical. For the game, and Chicago sails into the fourth on top, 81-65. Rodman and to Kukoc and for more on Dennis Rodman. Let's quickly check in with Craig Sager. When Dennis was on the bench, he told the training staff that he had a stinger in his left shoulder. He received a massage and apparently said it was nothing serious. That's why he went back in. Three for three. Well, he's, not, he's not lifting that shoulder up to rebound. He's almost rebounding one-handed. Yeah, and, and obviously so one arm. He's a great rebounder, but he's not that good. <laughs> but even with one arm tied behind his back, he's still not there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's got eight rebounds tonight. He's usually in double digits. Robin looking for his seventh rebounding title. Morning from Murdoch in a foul. Uh -oh. <laughs> Morning. Giggling as he goes the other way. Morning gets the laugh right there. He likes that. And let's take a look here. Been a lot of little cheap shots from both guys tonight. And cheap shots is nothing wrong with you can get away with it. Let's see who does it that time. Oh, man. A couple of, couple of shots to the yeah. midsection. Sometimes you wonder when these two guys play when the basketball game's going to start. <laughs> Four on Rodman. Well, it just well. goes to show you. Coach, I mean, Lee Brown, they said Lee Brown. Uh -oh. Dennis fell down and Alonzo puts it in. And Dennis comes in. Alonzo Alonzo gonna get it down. Now Alonzo comes up and bumps Dennis. And Dennis does the smart thing, just walks away. And now Phil's coming up on the floor and Phil wants to know what's going to happen. Technical foul on Dennis Rodman. Eddie Rush is just screaming at Phil Jackson. Now here's about Phil really upset fighting for his player. Here he comes. Phil has just been tossed. Phil has just been tossed. He is reading the riot act to Rush. It's not going to make any difference. Phil's going to have to hit the showers, but. Defending his player, what he's saying is, he came back. And here's what happened at the end. You didn't see Dennis. Dennis comes in for the rebound and runs into him. And that was the technical foul. What you didn't see was why Dennis ended up on the floor. And now Alonzo comes up and pushes Dennis. 
And again, that's what led to Phil Jackson being. Watch the left side of your screen now. There's Dennis. Oh, and there is the boy. That was the, the play, right? That, that's what got morning open underneath. That's why Dennis was really upset. All right, Bulls take a timeout. 8.40 left in the third. Miami leads at 58-45. Ladies and gentlemen, Simon foul. Pat Riley with Dennis Rodman right next to him. <laughs> we could get along, you know what? Those two probably could. Like playoff games, so does this. Great feed the morning. He's fouled by Dennis Rodman. Down goes Zoe. And he looks hurt. Dennis Rodman with his fourth foul. Second team foul. And now you hold your breath. And hope that Zoe is all right. Hard foul by Rodman with thing got hurt. There's a great pass by Hardaway. Yes, it was Rodman. bone to bone. Rodman comes over and you see Zoe take the hit. When we say bone to bone, one knee hits the bone of the other knee. So watch this. See right there, Rodman comes over and as Zoe takes it to the hoop, Rodman gives him a hard body check. That one and Rodman and a technical on Alonzo Morning as he pushed yeah. off against Dennis Rodman. All right, let's see what happens here. Yep. So Jordan will shoot. Struggling on the free throw line. He just will get out of the way. Put some body on him. Loose ball down the ground. Got the good roll. And him and Rodman are tangled up again. 